We put Rochester first. We're teaming up with the United Way to highlight organizations doing great work helping people in these uncertain times. Joining me right now, we have Charisma Travis with the Urban League of Rochester. Charisma, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So for folks who don't know, what is the Urban League? Um, so the Urban League is actually part of a bigger movement. We're part of the National Urban League. Um, our affiliate specifically was founded in 1965. Um, and it's a civil rights organization whose purpose is to help the community, um, those who may be disadvantaged, you know, um, to stop racism, um, to bring equity basically throughout the city of Rochester and Monroe County. And like I said, we have it all around the country as well. Obviously, the pandemic has changed a lot of how we operate as a society. Yes. How are you helping people out? So um, the Urban League continues to be open and we have over 30 programs. My program specifically is at the School Academy program. Um, this summer we actually had two cohorts of students, um, one for July, one for August. Right now we're finishing up our summer component with those students in August, which we've been meeting with them virtually um, to give them some education still, even though um, with the pandemic we're still able to meet with them virtually. That's fantastic. And as far as financing, how has that been for you in these difficult times? Um, with the families or with the urban with league? the whole urban league. with the whole yeah. urban league um, like I said we continue to remain open we still have our funders you know um, out there um, one of the big things for us is because he you know you can always look for grants never have too many mm -hmm. grants yeah, you can yeah. apply for and the good thing about it also with funding is our after school academy program actually was able to receive additional funding from yeah. another funder because of the pandemic to hope us be able to serve our students virtually to provide them with laptops for example and um, food cards for those families who need food and you mentioned families how is it looking out there from what you're seeing so it's a mix you know you have some families who this pandemic didn't hit but you have unfortunately some families who it did hit really um, huge and so we're looking for those families to see how we can help them and we continuously try to help them um, as much as we can wonderful well I'm so glad you're on the ground doing that searching them out and offering them the support they need so thank you so much for that <laughs> And thank you for joining us, by the way. Thank you. Charisma Travis with the Urban League of Rochester. We are going to have more on this every Monday as we continue to put Rochester first. If you